I found 17 work from home jobs that pay as much as $4,500 to $7,500 a month, and one that pays up to $145,000 to $200,000 a year. And most of these jobs do not require a college degree or previous experience. So if you appreciate me making these types of videos, go ahead, cheer the like button, and let's jump into it. The first one on the list is going to be a VoIP analyst or a voice over IP analyst. And this is basically the unsung yeah. hero that ensures crystal clear calls in the digital world. And basically what they do is they manage and optimize internet based communication systems. And this enables voice and multimedia transmission over IP networks. And these professionals are sought after by telecommunications firms, IT service providers, multinational corporations, and government agencies that require expertise in maintaining and and enhancing VoIP infrastructure for seamless communication. And you can think of it almost like being an air traffic controller, but for voice communications navigating the digital skies. And this job is perfect on the list as it is tech focused and high demand and doesn't require a degree, just a knack for technology and problem solving. And by the way, the internet recently hit 5.1 billion users in 2023. And so that's a lot of people who are communicating over the internet and therefore would need this type of service. And VoIP analysts make between 69 and $118,000 a year. So a lot of different VoIP related technology knowledge is on the internet, either free or very affordable. You can check out different courses on websites like Udemy or Coursera to learn how to do this stuff. And yeah, this one is really good, relatively easy to get into, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you enjoy me making videos like this, go ahead and let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number two on the list, which is going to be a dealer registration coordinator. And have you ever wondered who's responsible for deals not just happening, but happening the right way? Well, this backstage hero is known as a dealer registration coordinator. And many times they would work at companies such as car dealerships, and they basically make sure that every I is dotted and every T is crossed but also ensuring compliance with company policies and legal standards. And you can work in companies and industries such as the automotive industry, real estate, finance, and manufacturing. And this is a way for you to give a lot of value, make a lot of impact and make a lot of money without needing a college degree. And in many cases, without having much previous experience. And dealer registration coordinators make about 44 to $67,000 a year. So yeah, relatively easy to get into. Lots of opportunities for remote jobs because in many cases you'd be working with several different dealerships. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. All right, so if you're exhausted with your nine to five, pay close attention. These were my earnings after a few months of doing YouTube when I was working as a full-time pharmacist. And a short time after that, I was making more from YouTube than I was at my pharmacist job. And because of this, I was able to quit my job, travel the world and have time, freedom and location independence. And I'm gonna be doing a live training where I walk you through the five simple steps that enabled me to do this and how you can use these five steps to have success on YouTube as well. And if you sign up now, you can also get a free mini course that I will only be giving out during the live training. Now the live training is going to be at 9 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday and you can check the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below just to make sure we got the right time for you. Now there is limited seating for the live training because it's actually going to be a live Zoom session with me. So we can only have so many people show up to it. So it's kind of a first come first serve type of thing. So definitely click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to reserve your spot. And to be honest with you, I usually charge $1,000 an hour for my consulting sessions. And these are the same types of things that I would tell people, but I'm giving this away to you for free. And there's also going to be a Q&A session where you can ask me any questions that you have about YouTube. Now, all of this will only be available during the live session. There's no replays and it's not going to happen anywhere else. So you absolutely have to show up to it. So make sure you click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. You don't want to miss out on this. Also, make sure you put it in your calendar, mark out some time, make sure you're not busy so that you can fully pay attention and take notes. And I look forward to seeing you there. Next is going to be a recovery partner. And this is basically where healthcare support meets the comfort of your own home. And you're basically going to be guiding patients on their journey to wellness. And basically what you're doing here is you're supporting patients in their health recovery process and working remotely to coach, educate, and manage ongoing care plans. And they're typically going to be employed by healthcare organizations and social service agencies. And it's kind of like being a personal health navigator, guiding patients through the complex seas of the healthcare system in the United States. Now you don't necessarily have to have a degree 
degree. They do hire people with degrees sometimes, but they usually don't care which degree you have specifically. However, there is some training that's typically required, but a lot of the time the companies will actually train you once they hire you. And recovery partners make about fifty-four to ninety-three thousand dollars a year. Now, there's also platforms online such as SAMHSA, which is basically the Substance Abuse Mental Health Services Administration, that offer online training modules and resources tailored to peer support roles. And these can provide valuable insights and practical knowledge to kickstart your journey as a recovery partner. So yeah, relatively easy to get into. Typically, does not require a college degree or specific previous experience. A lot of the time, they do prefer that you have some previous experience, but they don't really care too much about what that experience is in, but it does depend on the company you're applying for. But overall, really good one. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a remote sales consultant. So sales is one of the most valuable skills you can learn. I've talked about it a million times on this channel. A sales job is something, in my opinion, everybody should get at least once in their life. And one particular type of sales job that I'm going to highlight today is a remote solar consultant. And basically, you're going to be remotely engaging leads, educating them about the advantages of solar energy, using technology to present to them, and guiding them through the decision-making and paperwork process. And by the way, this one actually did make it on CNBC's 10 best jobs in the US list, and it was actually number 10. And it actually grew 131% in a three year period, which is absolutely bananas. Now, a lot of these roles will prefer that you have an associate's or a bachelor's degree, but they don't really care which one you have, but many of them actually don't care. You can go in there with a high school diploma. All they care about is that you can actually make sales. And there's many reports online of people that are making 15 to 30K per month. Some say that people are doing over 400K per month in these types of positions. There's this girl on TikTok, for instance, that talks about how she makes 150K per year in this position. And sales consultants in general on Glassdoor make about 145 to 263 thousand dollars a year okay so extremely lucrative career to get into plus you're promoting solar energy which means it's really good for the planet and you can really feel good about it so yeah really good job to get into it is a little bit harder of a sales job to get into out of some of the other ones that i've mentioned on the channel but with that being said i'm still going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score now one that's a little bit easier to get into um, i've seen absolute complete beginners like 18 year olds with zero work experience get into this one is actually tech sales now i've actually interviewed a bunch of people on this channel where my business partners and i have actually helped them get into tech sales with no college degree and no experience the base is like fifty thousand. So I'm in Canada, actually. So that's 50,000. And on track right now, it is like 75,000. You can see exactly how they did that with a completely free course, which you can check out down in the description or the pinned comment below. This course is going to go over exactly what tech sales is, exactly how you can get into it, and whether or not it's right for your personality and your situation. So definitely check that course out. And again, that's going to be down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next on the list is going to be a distribution specialist. And they're basically the wizards of workflow management that keep everything running smoothly from the comfort of their own homes. And distribution specialists basically handle customer service and administrative support. They manage participant requests and they ensure accuracy and compliance and distribution systems for various different types of companies. And the types of companies that typically hire this position are going to be manufacturing companies, distribution centers, logistics firms, and retail corporations. And and basically, you're just going to be facilitating the movement of goods from production facilities to various different locations. So distribution specialists typically don't have to have a college degree or any specific previous experience, and they make about forty-one to fifty-nine thousand dollars a year. And we all saw how important distribution and logistics and supply chain management was when our supply chains got messed up a few years ago. So this is something that's always in demand. It's relatively easy to learn online. It typically does require some training or certificates or certifications. So for instance, CLA or Certified Logistics Associate or CLT, Certified Logistics Technician credentials are very useful to get a job. But overall, this one is very easy to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a medical records specialist. And I've said many times on this channel, there's all these super random little niche medical related careers that are relatively easy to get into. They pay relatively well and they're super stable. And this is basically where you're gonna be handling medical requests, the release of medical records. You're also gonna be ensuring accuracy, privacy, and compliance with HIPAA regulations. And healthcare providers and medical facilities hire these professionals in order to do all these things. And you're kind of like basically a librarian of 
the medical record healthcare world, meticulously organizing and safeguarding healthcare related information. And medical record specialists make about $37,000 to $53,000 a year. Now, this is one where you typically are going to need some training, although in many cases, the medical organization that you work for will provide that training for you. And some of them do prefer a college degree, but they usually don't care which degree it is. And in many cases, you don't have to have a degree at all. Now, some certifications that you might consider pursuing would be the CPC, which is the Certified Professional Coder Certificate, or the CCS, which is the Certified Coding Specialist Certification. And these would, of course, help you to land a job, although, like I said before, in many cases, the companies will just provide this for you. So yeah, this one's pretty good. Again, a lot of these healthcare careers, really easy to get into, very stable, relatively good paying. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a retention specialist. And this is basically somebody who develops customer retention ah. strategies. And this is basically a way of persuading clients to continue services and enhancing member relationships. And companies across various different industries, especially in telecommunications, finance, subscription-based services, etc., frequently employ these professionals. And this role is kind of like being a relationship counselor for businesses and their clients, helping them to navigate through rough patches and maintain a lasting bond. And this job is pivotal for businesses in reducing churn rates, ensuring customer satisfaction, and does not require a formal degree. And retention specialists make about fifty-three dollars to $81,000 a year. And by the way, some companies hire retention specialists to basically keep their clients. Others hire them to keep their employees as well. So yeah, this is a really good career, relatively easy to get into. You can find remote jobs or work from home jobs. Doesn't typically require a college degree or previous experience. And by the way, sometimes I get comments on these videos like, oh, I looked up a job listing and they say that they require a college degree. Guys, there's what they say they want, which is kind of like a wish list, and there's what they actually get in reality. All of these jobs that I say, they absolutely will hire you even if you don't have a college degree. There might be a few exceptions because some business owners or HR managers are just stubborn. But the truth is a lot of these jobs either don't care at all if you have a college degree or they don't care which college degree you have. Maybe they would prefer if you have one, but if you're better for them or you just interview really well, they'll drop that. So even if it says it does require a college degree, just apply anyways. And anyone who's familiar with my content knows that. So yeah, retention specialist, really good one. I'm going to give this one a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, one type of retention that is very important is YouTube retention, aka keeping everyone on these videos. And that's one of the main ways that I've been able to grow this channel so fast. You know, we're set to hit a million subscribers in just a few months. And by focusing on viewer retention, making my viewers happy, I built a channel that makes over six figures a month, even though I only have to work four hours a week. And if you're interested in how you can do the exact same thing, I actually have some free training, which you can check out down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that out. I also do accept a few coaching clients every month. I can only coach a few people because it's a very high touch hands on service where I work very closely with people, but I've helped to create four people who have made it to eight figures a year and around 15 people that have made it to seven figures a year on YouTube. And there's been countless others that have made it to six figures a year. So definitely check that out. If if you're interested in how to grow and make money from YouTube, really take it seriously and treat it like a business. And you can check that out by clicking down the description as well as the pinned comment below. Next is going to be a mortgage loan originator. And this is somebody who remotely assists clients with mortgage applications. They also help to negotiate rates and they guide the clients through the home buying process. And these positions are typically employed by financial institutions and mortgage companies. And it's kind of like being a financial matchmaker, pairing individuals with the perfect mortgage option to fit their unique needs. And this role offers a blend of finance, customer service, sales, and it's all achievable from the comfort of your own home. Now with this one, they do typically require that you have some experience in real estate. It doesn't necessarily require a college degree though, and it is relatively easy to get into. Now some resources you can look into are the NMLS website, and typically you're gonna take an exam called the Safe MLO exam and obtain your MLO license. So it does require some training and some licensing in order to get into this, but it typically doesn't take that long and it's relatively easy to get into compared to a lot of different options out there. And mortgage loan officers make 102 to $177,000 a year. So absolutely ridiculous money that you can make here. Really good opportunity. I'm gonna give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a claims escalation specialist. And this is somebody who manages and resolves outstanding medical claims. And this could include claims with insurance companies, uh, reconciling accounts, and appealing denials. 
And these positions are often hired by healthcare companies and insurance companies. Now this role is crucial for the healthcare system and you do what's known as revenue cycle management and this can be done completely remotely. And so it's a very specialized career path and it doesn't typically require a college degree or much previous experience. And claims escalation specialists make about 44 to $69,000 a year. Now it does help if you have some previous experience in the insurance industry, but it's not necessarily required. And so yeah, this one is pretty good. Uh, does typically require a little more experience than some of the other ones on the list. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a donor relations administrator. And this is yet another one of those random healthcare related careers where you can make pretty good money. And basically what you're gonna do is manage and enhance relationships with donors. And these are typically gonna be donors from nonprofit organizations. You can also coordinate fundraising events, maintain donor records, and handle administrative tasks. And some of the different types of companies you might work for are of course nonprofit organizations, charitable foundations, universities, and hospitals. And donor relations officers make about 58 to $97,000 a year. Now, some of the skills you're gonna to wanna to have are basically a familiarity with what's known as a CRM or customer relationship management software. It does help if you have a background working for nonprofits or working in fundraising. Additionally, you could consider pursuing certifications such as the CFRE or Certified Fundraising Executive Certification. It doesn't require a college degree, but in many cases they might prefer that you have a college degree, but typically they don't care which one it is. So yeah, this one's pretty good. There are more requirements requirements for this one than some of the other ones. So for that reason, I'll give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, comment below if you like some of these ones that I mentioned, or if you don't like them, or if there's some other ones that you want me to mention that I didn't mention in this video, let me know by commenting down below. Next is going to be a data management specialist. And this is somebody who's basically responsible for organizing, analyzing, and maintaining databases to ensure accurate and secure storage of information. And these professionals are typically hired by a wide range of different companies, including financial institutions, healthcare organizations, technology firms, government agencies, and research institutions. And these are typically businesses that rely on data-driven decision-making and efficient data management practices. And if you know anything about data or information, information is basically the oil of the 21st century. And analytics is the combustion engine of the 21st century. So having these types of skills is incredibly valuable. And a fun fact here is if you tried to download all the data that's available on the internet and you had really good high-speed internet, it would take you 181 million years to download it. Now, data management specialists make about 51 to $79,000 a year. A lot of the time you can get into these positions without a college degree or previous experience. However, there's lots of different courses on places like Coursera, edX, Udemy, LinkedIn Learning, etc., where you can learn about this stuff and basically better prepare yourself. Additionally, focusing on building proficiency in something like Python or R, which is a coding language. And by the way, this is a coding language that's easily learned online. There's basically millions of different tutorials on it. This will definitely help you and make you better to a prospective employer, especially if you build a good portfolio. So yeah, really good one to get into. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a wealth management associate. And this is gonna be somebody who guides high net worth individuals through their financial journey. And you basically support wealth managers with research, investment plans, and client relationship management services. And wealth management associates are typically hired by financial advisory firms, but they can also be hired by investment banks, wealth management firms, and private banks to assist clients with their financial planning and investment strategies. And it's kind of like being a co-pilot on a luxury jet, ensuring a smooth and prosperous journey for all of those that are aboard. And this role basically combines finance skills with client service skills, and it offers a high earning potential. Plus, it's accessible without necessarily needing a college degree or previous experience. And wealth management associates make about 78 to $129,000 a year. So yeah, another really good one to get into. Um, sometimes different places are going to prefer a college degree, but it's definitely possible for you to get into this without one. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an operations support specialist. And this is basically the wizard behind the curtains that makes sure everything in the company runs like clockwork. And you're gonna be handling various tasks such as maintaining efficient company operations, troubleshooting, process evaluation, inventory management, and customer interactions. 
And it's kind of like being the conductor of an orchestra where every section is a different department of the company and harmony is peak efficiency. And operations is basically essential in any business that has more than just a few employees. And operations support specialists make about 46 to $67,000 a year. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of anybody else out there that could use a great video like this, definitely share it with them. I don't have a bunch of money to spend on marketing. I rely on word of mouth in order to grow this channel. We also spend hundreds of hours on each one of these videos. So if you want a video that is actually genuinely gonna help somebody get a job, go ahead and share this video with them. Maybe it's a family member, a friend, or just somebody who needs to get a freaking job. Go ahead, send the video to them. We really appreciate it. Next is going to be an engagement professional. And this is basically the mastermind of communication that connects businesses with opportunities one call at a time. And engagement professionals basically make outbound calls to executives. And this is done to gather business intelligence for their clients. And they typically work with state and regional organizations to help attract business investment. And it's kind of like being a detective in the corporate world where every phone call is a clue leading to a potential business opportunity. Now, this role is crucial, doesn't necessarily require a college degree, and it offers a chance to interact with top business leaders all from the comfort of your home. And client engagement professionals make about 70 to $122,000 a year. Now there's a lot of different courses you can take online. You can also learn a lot of this stuff on your own. Doesn't typically require a college degree. In some cases, they will prefer that you do have previous experience, but they usually don't care too much about what that experience is in. But yeah, this one is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a subrogation specialist. And this is basically somebody who identifies and recovers overpaid claims for third parties. And it typically involves legal research and negotiations. And they primarily work for insurance companies and legal firms. And it's kind of like being a treasure hunter in the insurance sea, where every recovered claim is a discovered treasure. And this role is pivotal when it comes to reducing financial losses, ensuring fair insurance practices, and it can be pursued without a degree, making it accessible yet impactful as a career. And by the way, a really funny and interesting fact is insurance is actually 4,000 years old. And the first insurance style practices were adopted by Babylonian, Chinese, and Indian traders. So yeah, I like to always include those little history related anecdotes in my video because I'm a big fan of history. But back to subrogation specialists, they make about 45 to $69,000 a year. Doesn't typically require a college degree. In some cases, it might require some previous experience. It does help if you've worked in the insurance industry. One certification that would be really useful is the EDRP certification, which is the Disaster Recovery Professional certification. But yeah, this is a really good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a tele-research associate. And this is kind of like being a digital detective that can do research right from their couch. And they do it all one phone call at a time. So basically what you do here is you contact businesses, you cold call them essentially, in most cases at least, and you verify and update essential information. And this ensures that your database is accurate and it's primarily working for market research or data service type companies. And this is kind of like being a gardener for data, carefully pruning and nurturing information to help databases flourish. And in this position, you'd make around 48 to $69,000 a year. And this is yet another one where you don't need a college degree. You typically don't need previous experience. It's relatively easy to get into. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a provider enrollment specialist. This is yet another one of those healthcare related careers that's super easy to get into. And basically you're responsible for handling application procedures in a company or facility, particularly in the healthcare sector. And usually you're gonna be working for healthcare organizations or insurance companies. And it's kind of like being a backstage manager in a theater, ensuring every actor or clinician is ready and approved for the show, which is healthcare services. Now, interestingly enough, another fun fact here is the United States spends more on healthcare per capita than any other country in the world. And in this position, you can make about 41 to $57,000 a year. Typically doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. Usually there will be some training, but a lot of the time the company or the healthcare organization will provide you with that training. So yeah, another really good one, relatively easy to get into. I'm going to give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I had a video that absolutely popped off and went viral getting over 500,000 views. And that is 10 no interview remote jobs that are relatively easy to get into. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.